Is this snow? It snowed last night! Oh, it just looks like gravel. <laughs> no, it's snow! Oh! But it's in New Vegas, so the graphics aren't great! Yay! <laughs> snow! I'm gonna build a snowman, and I'm gonna lick this rock. It's either snow or a snow-like substance. Oh, it's real gross. Ah, here we have the three wise men making their journey to bring some myrrh to the baby Jesus. Are they the three wise men? Well, obviously they are. Look at that guy in the front not carrying a weapon. I'm the wisest man I've ever seen. No, they're just mercenaries. <laughs> well, little, few people know this, but the three wise men actually were mercenaries before they were gift deliverers. Hey lady, mullets went out of style in 2280. And then they came back in 2257. What? <laughs> That's... Uh, somebody else was borrowing your time machine. <laughs> so today, somebody has requested our presence, our, our, our actual existence, not gifts. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, it's, uh, it is Christmassy, but they don't want gifts from us. It's gonna be Rock Hopper again. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I don't know. They didn't tell me their name. They just said they were taking up residence in the Aces Casino. Okay, grenade launcher. Oh, no, there are too many casualty possibilities. Yes, these people over here look like they wish to die. I think their Christmas wish was that they wouldn't be killed. Oh, what's a dumb Christmas wish? Way to wish low, though. <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> all I wish for Christmas is that I don't die. You gotta keep things realistic out here in the wasteland. Yes, our very festive helpers. Oh, why do these look vaguely <laughs> like Nazi uniforms? <laughs> They may have been... Well, you know how the Legion took sports outfits and made them into armor? I guess that's true, yeah, but the black armband with a thing on it looks... Whatever. It might yep. be... Oh, goodness, I just realized the... <laughs> Inside the Lucky 38? We haven't been there. I'm not sure whether that's a blessing or a curse. I don't know who told you we went there. That's a lie. A defamous lie. And Veronica, it's been quite some time. I vaguely remember giving you that hat. I don't remember the fishnet stockings, though. <laughs> Those came later. You can't help but notice that the Brotherhood barely exists to these people out here. We're like an urban myth, no real presence on the outside. Who? We just don't adapt like we should. Used to be that all you needed to get your way was a suit of power armor and a laser rifle. Now, people are armed and organized. They're not afraid. But we still stick to our old approach because it's all we know. Energy weapons are still effective. You can do... <laughs> you stuff. Yeah, but only if you've got bodies to fill the suits. We don't take on new members. We're all descendants from the original Brotherhood. Something's gonna have to change, or the empty suits are gonna be all that's left of us. You can take on my member. Gross, Mike. <laughs> Let's get going. Aw, just when the standing around was getting exciting. All right, well, where are we going? I just told you. Oh, Ace's Casino. That's Hurrah! Right. To that place. Hello, dead body. He How did, are you doing today? He did not wish to be alive. <laughs> yeah, he should have. <laughs> doing a real public service here, moving all these dead Jackal Gang members. Not like our 30 companions living in this town could do yeah. anything about it. Oh, yeah, they just can't be bothered. Can't be bothered to move some corpses. Um, who... Hmm. Mm hmm <laughs> Stand there for... Just a minute. That, Veronica, get out of the way. You're blocking my view of cast. <laughs> Stand there for a minute. Yeah. It's like the exact same character model anyway. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Maybe. Okay, let's go to the casino. Shh. We're hunting shitheads. She won't let uh -huh. you see. Uh-huh. The red. These gentlemen over here requested us. Uh, maybe they need somebody killed. That's why most people require our assistance. That is usually why people contact us, because they're like, hey, we need someone with a... Ring a ding, baby. Ring a ding, 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 ding. Ring a ding, 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 isn't it a shame, young one? It's already December, and not a decorated bow or present is in sight. My great-grandfather used to tell me about old-world holiday celebrations. Decorated trees twice the height of this hotel. Big family feasts. It's something I miss, even though I've never experienced it. I think we all have feelings like that. But by gosh, by golly, where are my manners, young friend? My name is Nicholas. 
Who might you be? My name is the Grim Reaper, and I'm here to steal your immortal soul. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm not from here to start. I come from up northwards. Uh huh. I'm somewhat of a proprietor to an annual convention across all corners of the wasteland. Ah, Comic Con. A convention based on the old world holiday season. Christmas, they used to call it. Though some folks had different names for it. This year, I've chosen the Mojave to host this convention. Being it is a commercial powerhouse, I figured the holiday spirit would be in full bloom. But here I sit, corrected. Problem is, I've already had responses from civilians across the wasteland saying they're coming to the convention. And I have no place to house them. <laughs> All right. I've just come out of a meeting with the general manager here, hoping he'd sponsor some of the conventioners. He thought Christmas was a type of military-grade explosive. No. Hence, he threw me out and told me never to come back. And here we are. So it's not an explosive? Well, now I'm disappointed. Anyway, you said you came from up north? Where, specifically? Yeah, north! That's so specific! I myself was born in North Idaho, oh. where it was cold most year-round, though my folks could never tell me where my family originated. We had a burned-out townhouse next to a sheet music store. The only music that had survived the bombs was holiday music kept <laughs> in filing cabinets. Oh, that sounds like hell. That store taught my father how to play guitar and piano. Mind you, all he knew was Christmas music. Come December time in the Idaho wastes, he'd travel with us to the burned-out boys' hotel, where the wastelanders gathered most of the year. And for a whole month, he'd play these holiday tunes and Christmas carols for hundreds of wastelanders, earning our living until the next year. He never thought to try to play other music? To make up stuff? When I was about 40, the boys' hotel was liberated by the imperialist NCR and became a strategic defense position, exiling the wastelanders. The stress of it eventually killed my father, and without a mother... I continued my father's legend, finding spots to celebrate Christmas. Was she killed by raiders? Each year the gatherings grew and came to be known as the Wastelanders Christmas Convention. No one uses that term. With over 400 people in the caravan's mailing list. For 30 years I've hosted this convention, and this might be the one time which I can't do it. But I'm an optimistic man, young one. Well, I am an almost unconscious man because you rambled for so long. That did go on a long time. Anyway, what's your plan? Well, as sinful as it is, I'm going to head over to the Gamora tonight <laughs> and see if I can't get a meeting with the general see manager. See if I can't get a couple hookers. Maybe he'll actually know what Christmas is and let me host the convention there. Then again, I have little money to compensate him. I guess what can we do to help then? Other than mock you. Well, goodness gracious. Since my arrival, this is the first person I've met who wants to give Christmas a fighting chance. Who cares about Christmas? I'll tell you what. While I rest my knees a while longer and go negotiate next door, you could help by pocketing a meeting with the Ultralux's manager. We'll meet up in Gamora Lobby after that. Sounds dandy? Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll go over to the Ultralux. Sounds like we have ourselves a neat little plan coming on. Thanks, friend. To the Ultralux, and we'll bring our two companions. They'll stand out, I'm sure. Mm, look at those knees. Yeah. You're, I didn't realize you were big into knees. Didn't realize that was your thing. I just like the whole thing, man. whole thing's pretty great. Mm-hmm. All right, well, how do you think this guy's going to betray us? Any guesses? <laughs> what? What makes you suspect this? I, it's going to happen. So how do we think this guy's going to betray us? He's Cass, a, you want to put any money down? He's a jolly old man. He's going to wish Christmas cheer on us all. Veronica, what do you think's going to happen? I bet he's going to have just a ridiculously overpowered melee weapon. <laughs> you think? The Christmas cudgel? Yeah, probably something <laughs> like that. Oh, the ultra... <laughs> Couldn't be bothered to walk across the courtyard. Yeah, I just couldn't walk all the way over here. Oh, my aching bones. I gotta stay away from that that fountain. If I fall in, I'm dead. If <laughs> I fall in there, no one will ever pull me out. <laughs> He'll drown in the fountain because people hate him. <laughs> Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Nice mask there, Deadshot. Anyway, here, just take him. <laughs> 
My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. Okay, stop talking. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. Uh huh. Stop talking. But we simply can't have stop. anyone waving their weapon. Stop. I just realized the bears have little Santa hats on. I'm gonna <laughs> Enjoy your stay. Yeah, okay. All right, who do I got to talk to in here? Who's in charge around here? Also, why are all the textures failing to load on your masks? That looks really creepy <laughs> just from here, though. Yeah. That's like, that is some weird, weird serial killer territory. <laughs> we're going to kick the door down. Hey, we're going to bring Christmas cheer. Where the fuck is your pit boss? <laughs> Hello. Greetings, kind fellow patron of the Ultralux. I hope your day is going exceptionally in your favor. We have spent no money yet. However, with kind respect, my honored guest, I must inform you that you are encroaching on employees' territory. Thus, I must ask you to relocate. But we're not here to cause trouble. We just want to get a meeting with the general manager. In regards to the holiday season... You certainly don't look the part, friend. Then again, they're not paying me much. If I happen to mistake you for one of our founders and let you in... What's in it for me? How about I do so? Why can't I just give him like 50 caps? Why can't we slit his throat and walk on by? Well, that's probably not the best idea. I went to bribe him. You went directly to murder. <laughs> so which one of us is more insane here? Both of them are valid options for getting past security. There's something about you, friend. Something warming and fuzzy that I can't quite explain. <laughs> they must have pumped too much free honor to the vents. <laughs> Anyhow, I was supposed to clean up some crushed vomit off the West Wing walls. Ew. Nasty wastelander whiskey vomit. Fuck. Perhaps now I'll wait on your results before I let you in. Oi! Fine, we'll go clean up some puke. All right, look, I don't care about cleaning up vomit. I've done it before. You just got some sawdust, right? Bunches together. Yeah. Is this it? Nasty as shit, stuck to the wall hard. You need a box of a Braxo cleaner to dissolve it off, Zach. Ah, great. So I need a Braxo cleaner now? Don't you carry around a box of soap with you? Hell no, I don't. I bet you there's some soap downstairs in the maintenance room if we walk back down. Probably. Evening. Excuse me? Yeah. This one? Yeah, this room. Oh, but it's locked. Yes, of course. I don't want people... someone's staring at artwork. This ain't a museum, lady! Get the hell out of here! Beat it! And scray! And also, put on one of these dresses while you're at it. <laughs> and follow us around! Because I bet you'd look pretty good. We've assimilated you into our harem! If you're not smiling, you're not fully dressed. Yeah. No, nope. oh, she doesn't care. She's too enamored with the artwork. Yeah, and guess what the I found? The fiends are running for their lives. That'll show everyone what we do to our enemies. I'll cast distracted her. Excuse me. Hehe, <laughs> excellent. Ah, some Abraxo cleaner so we can clean things up. And a couple of containers of chlorine so we can poison people. Oh. Yay! Let's poison this gambler. Top shelf is the premier bar on the strip. Hey, there's no smoking in here. Jesus Christ, lady. I guess she doesn't really care. Well, obviously she doesn't care about the rules. She just watches break in and steal a box of a Braxo cleaner. Yeah. I wonder if that's one of those things. Excuse me, <laughs> Mr. but I've got a delivery for you. Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy shit, dude! <laughs> Thank you! Have a nice day. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> oh my god! Out of a horror movie! <laughs> Uh, it was a- oh, it was the note from Skyrim. We know with a bloody hand, friend. Use that Abraxo cleaner to dissolve the vomit. Yeah, take that, vomit. Yeah! Fuck you, vomit. Clean up more vomit! <laughs> oh no, do we need more boxes of cleaner? Oh god! Did you steal two boxes or one? No, oh, you ah, only stole no! one! Okay, I guess we've got more to clean up. Ah, uh, I gotta go steal more Abraxo cleaner. I mean, borrow it. Because this is my job. <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting paid for this. We're unpaid interns at a casino. Man, I can't imagine being an unpaid intern janitor. <laughs> <clears throat> Use that Abraxo cleaner to dissolve the vomit. Hopefully that was the last one. Oh, wait. Clean up more vomit. Oh, it's a good thing we got that third box of Abraxo cleaner. We didn't get a third box of Abraxo cleaner. There were only two boxes. Oh, no. Where are we going to get that third one then? Are we going to have to leave the casino, go get a box of Braxo <laughs> cleaner, and then come back? Are we? Let's ransack the bathrooms. Maybe we'll be lucky. Eh. Eh. No. I've never been so desperate to find soap! Where's the soap? God! <laughs> On today's episode, we spend 45 minutes looking for a box of soap. My kingdom for a box of a Braxo <laughs> cleaner! So that I can clean up vomit. God, what has my life come to? 
Mm. I can't believe that I can't find a box of a bracket. Oh, you know what? I bet there's some in the... <laughs> no. <laughs> um. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, the open strip mod doesn't seem to be working as it's intended. <laughs> no. I bet there's some in the NCR headquarters, though. Mm, yes. And they love me there, so they'll just let me take it. Uh, Braxo Cleaner! Come on! Where is it? Flower! <laughs> it looks like a Braxo Cleaner. Doesn't taste like it, though. <laughs> I refuse to accept that there isn't a Braxo Cleaner in this building. I suppose the, the pantry is not the best place to look for it. I mean, I, it's a good point. Ha-ha! Ah! There you are, you dirty little bastard! Let's go get their jobs done for them. Yep. Dealing uh, <laughs> cards to all those people out there. I see. She's got a six and a four. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get us kicked out. <laughs> Come on. I want to do chores. Clean it off. Take that puke. You Woo! Never, we're done. Never knew what we hit did you. it. Yeah. We did it. Yes. Vomit has been cleaned up, sir. No more oral expulsions in your halls. Well, that was way better than how I worded it. <clears throat> Mr. Founder, sir. I sure didn't recognize you in those clothes. You're welcome to talk with Mr. Baines at any time. He's right down the hall. My name is Mr. Founder? That's a dumb name. Carry on. Ho ho! Hello, fellow Founder! Good morrow, sir! Did you learn your manners from a rat scorpion, kid? I don't know who the hell let you in, but I'm quite busy at this current time. Yes, we did learn our manners from a rat scorpion. That's why we ate out your flour and shat on your floor! I have just come to talk to you about Christmas. Christmas, huh? That big, huge, old world annual lie that piggybacked its way on the winter winds of yesteryear? That's the yes! One. The season that poked the porking capitalist flames of past America? Yes! Is that what you're talking about? Uh huh. Why the hell talk to me about it? Well, someone needs a hot chocolate and a candy cane. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and get to the point, kid. <laughs> you can calm down, sir. We're not here to argue. We're here to sell you a business opportunity. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just steaming vexed at the moment. You came in at the wrongest time possible. Wrongest? This entire hotel is just idiotic. Idiotic and creepy. Yes! I'm trying to run this place to make a profit, just to have the White Glove Society fight me. They want more people in the casino, yet the White Glove dealers practically piss on those who don't wear button shirts and shiny shoes. They want the gourmand to make money, yet they insist on crossing off half the reservations to fake a facade of demand and exclusivity. I'm sorry for yelling at you, and I shouldn't be telling you this stuff anyway. So please, you've bought yourself some time. What will we converse? There's a nationwide Christmas convention that needs a place to stay. And it's merging with Comic Con this year. Perhaps that interests you. And also Rainforest. Don't go to Rainforest. Wouldn't you like to have that in your casino? <laughs> anyway, can you help? Boy, I wish you were as upfront as my business partners. They practically go through charades to tell you to do up your damn zipper. Truth be told, kid, is that the Ultralux is a for-profit organization only. Meaning that, even if this convention has the money, which most don't, the average conventionist does not match the UL's highest yielding consumer. That's the bullshit they feed me, kid. From all the business model books I've read, I would welcome your supposed convention. And even if I agreed which I would do once I got a bit more information from you. I'm just a figurehead. The people out there in the masks run the hat. And like I said, the only people they want in here are the rich and fruitful, kid. That's why this damn hotel is so far behind the others. Hmm. So is that a yes? No, kid. I'm sorry. You'll have to find someplace else for your Christmas bonanza. Well, fine. Thank you then, sir. Thank you for your time. And thank you for killing Christmas! It's been a nice surprise conversation, and I wish you luck on finding another host for the convention. But between you and me, you and whomever else is heading this gathering should drop the whole Christmas thing. Nobody believes in it anymore. He's a real Ebenezer Grinch. You killed it! You killed Christmas! And thank you for your time. It was lovely having a conversation with you. Oh, we're too rich and famous to have Christmas here. Yeah, well, I had to take one of these eggs. Suck eggs, losers! You hit the penthouse, sweet. You're killing innocent civilians. Yeah, well, they didn't like Christmas either. Okay, that's justified. Swing low.
Sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home. Nice.